everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Black 2. No healing in battle, revenge, rainbow, wedlock. In the last episode, we entered the plasma frigate in the giant chasm. And we entered the plasma frigate for the final time as we cleared out every single grunt inside. And all that remains is Zenzelin, the Shadow Triad, and Colrus before we can take on Getsus. This episode and next episode are the penultimate episodes of this series. This is our Revenge Black 2 wedlock, and it's because we're getting revenge on the playthrough and the wedlock that we did almost three years ago in White 2. It was in these episodes that I lost. This is where our journey came to an official end. And while I still carried on after the fact, it was never the same and we had lost that challenge then and there. I'm very nervous because this challenge was meant to be a much more difficult version of the one we lost. So when we get our revenge, it was real revenge. You know, more difficult, right? It should be fun. <laughs> well, we're actually sitting at the same or less deaths than we had in White 2, I believe. I think we had six at this point in White 2. We might have had seven. But we have six right now in this playthrough. We're doing incredibly well. But the thing is, at this point in White 2, we were also doing incredibly well. We barely ever had any hiccups throughout that entire adventure. And one wrong move on my part sealed our entire team of Six's fate. My starter Kindle was still on the team. We had a strong team. And they all just came crashing down. Under the might of Getsus and his team. But I don't blame Getsus for what happened there. I most certainly blame myself for one thing. But I also blame Kiram. Kiram is the reason that that happened. I had a strategy going into it for the Kiram we fight in Black 2. The one that uses electric moves. And I found out that it was the fire type Kiram as I stood before it. And yeah, I could have changed my strategy on the spot. I don't know why I didn't. But I went for it. And in the end, it lost us our challenge because my strategy revolving around my Bisharp was no longer. And I'm very nervous for this challenge as well because I see a lot of similarities here in Black 2 as White 2. If you take a look at our team, I did go ahead and get everybody trained up off screen that was not at level 58. I believe Colrus' highest level is 56. Um, but Gushers was already level 58, and I wanted everybody to be at the highest level of my Pokemon. So, I got everybody to 58 off screen. I didn't feel like doing a training montage, it was so short. Uh, mostly it was just Nadia and November training, but... I also went ahead and prepared for both Colrus, the Shadow Triad, Zinzolin, and Getsis. My team's ready to take them all on right now. And I know that's a long shot, because I could lose a Pokemon to Colrus and have to go train anyways. But assuming we get through Colrus with no problems, I'll be able to go straight to Getsus and take him on once and for all. I don't want to talk too much about Getsus right here and now because that'll be happening in the next episode, of course. But, as, like I said, I see a lot of similarities in this team as I did in the situation we were in in White 2. And the reason for that is I went into Getsus last time with one strategy, all my eggs in one basket. And unironically, I am doing it all again with Nadia and November. They are ready to fight Getsus and Kiram. And you will not be seeing from them until it is time to do so. So, with that being said, we have today. We have Colrus. But first, before we fight Colrus, we do have to fight Zinzolin, I believe. So, Marcus is prepared to do so. It should be a straightforward cakewalk, as it has always been with Marcus. I mean, the first time we fought out Sinzel and it went bad, but that's because he was not holding the Choice Scarf. This time, he is holding the Choice Scarf. So, let's go ahead, approach Kiram here, and Zinzelin will once again interrupt us. 
The device is indestructible. You will never be able to release Curum. <sighs> you don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Time for our final battle against Team Plasma Zinzolin here in the Plasma Frigate once again. His team remains the same of three, being two Cryogonal and a Weavile, and first up will be one of the two Cryogonal. All right, Marcus, make quick work of this guy just like you have before. Let's do this, buddy. All right, with the Choice Scarf equipped, we should be able to finish this in one, two, three punch. Or should I say one, two, three drain punch? Hit that thing with a drain punch, Marcus, and that's it for Cryogonal. They have virtually no defense, and because of that, we're able to clear them in a single physical shot, especially when it's super effective. And because of that, the next one will fall just the same. And while his final Pokemon, Weavile, is really strong as well, and maybe better defense than Cryogonal, I don't actually know. It's four times weak to fighting, meaning Drain Punch will seal Weavile's fate just the same as these Cryogonal. Though one thing I am concerned about is Weavile probably outspeeds me. We have a minus speed nature, and even with the Choice Scarf, I could totally see Weavile striking first here. We didn't get to see that in the last fight because it went for Ice Shard, and it is level 55, so it's very likely it outspeeds. They're very quick. And it didn't. We just get to hit it with a Drain Punch and finish Zinzolin off, just like I said. One, two, three, punch. See you later, Weavile. And see you later, Zinzolin. That obviously is not the star of the show today. I'm not really concerned about him at all. That was just to do it, because you kind of have to. But Colrus won't be that easy, I don't think. Yeah, he won't. <laughs> and he's next. So it's time to fight Colrus, like I said, I've prepared. We're obviously going to be doing it with Gushers. Why would we not? <laughs> Gushers is a ground type. Colrus has a lot of electric types. It just makes sense. Though, there are things Colrus does to prepare against this. Now, I've said this in the past. Colrus is like one of my favorite battles of all time. His music is unbelievably good. Black and White 2's music in general is just really good, but I'm really nervous for Colrus, and there's multiple reasons as to why. Mainly because back in White 2 when we fought Colrus, he was very stupid. <laughs> I remember him using Discharge on my Claydol. Like, turn one, like just uh, Discharge now. <laughs> and I remember him being an utter cakewalk. I don't remember too many of the details, but it was a joke. And because of that, I don't really remember what Colrus does. <laughs> I know what his Pokemon are. I'm pretty sure he leads with a Magneton. And he has a Magnezone, a Metang, a Behem, and a Kling Clang. And I'm pretty sure his Kling Clang is holding the Air Balloon. Um, doesn't really matter. It just means three of his Pokemon have Sturdy, basically. Right, because I'm not going to be able to one-shot Kling Clang. So, that's fine, I suppose. There's nothing I can really do. We're not allowed to heal in battle with items from our bag. Or use any items from the bag, if that matter. So I say we walk on this warp panel. And get the main event of this episode underway. Oh, boy. <laughs> chorus, chorus, chorus. Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can't accomplish that, I did this last time. <laughs> if I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. <laughs> if that means the strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasmas and force out all of the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job, Karma. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. I'm as ready as I will ever be. Let's get this show on the road. Let's do this, Cro- <laughs> Karma, I'm nervous. Let's do this, Colrus. Colrus, Chroma, Karma. Fun fact! 
chorus's Japanese name is Akroma. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh dear. Anyways, let's let's do it. It looks like you're ready then. Okay. Let us begin. Time for our final fight against Colrus in the main story of our Black 2 No Healing in Battle Revenge Rainbow Wedlock here in the Giant Chasm. First up is Magneton. It's an electric steel type, and I need your help once again, Gushers. Let's do it, buddy. You have been a monster throughout this entire adventure since we've added you back in Castalia City. And I never needed you more than I need you right here and now. First up is Magneton, an electric steel type level 54. And obviously we're going to be slower than it. And it has the ability Sturdy. As you can see, Gushers no longer has the move Surf. I don't feel like I need it for this fight. And I feel like Protect would be more useful. So, since it has Sturdy, my turn one here is quite important actually. Um, there's multiple things that can happen. I do recall Colrus liking to switch his Pokemon around, which would be really bad because I do believe his Behem in the back has a Grass-type attack in Energy Ball. I don't know why I'm remembering this, but I remember me having a fear of fighting Behem with my Claydol, and that's the only thing I can think of. The AI in this situation would likely go for Earth Power... Well, go for a switch at this point, then. And if I go for Earth Power here and he switches, it could be okay, I guess. Um, Earth Power is called the same, really, against BHM. It doesn't matter. But that would be really bad because I would then have to switch into Brooklyn. Um, I, my best scenario here is if I Scald, he won't use items on Magneton, which I feel like might be a good idea here. Um, this is a big turn one because my move right here could determine the flow of this fight. I do remember long ago in my wedlock of white 2, black 2, I don't remember which one it was, black 2, um, with my Magmortar and my Azumarill, before I started YouTube long ago, I do remember this Magneton was the final Pokemon that I had fought. And it came down to my Azumarill having to strike with Quick Claw and finish it off because it was still in sturdy range. That tells me he switches after sturdy enacts, which... Might be good for me. My thing is, I don't know how many healing items he uses, and I would really like him to use his item on Magnezone of anything, because it might stop him from 1 HP exploding, because I do know his Magnezone knows explosion. Not that physical attack from these guys are very important, but I'm gonna go for Scald. I don't want him to heal his Magneton, and I feel like that's my best play to make. And he uses Tri Attack. Okay. That's bad, because I don't have a Lumberry attached. If it paralyzes me... Oh god, or freezes me. Okay, good. We hit it with Scald. That's fine. Oh, Freeze would be fine, because we have Scald. That's actually great. That's why I have Scald over Surf. I'm big brain. <laughs> it was intentional. <laughs> I, I, scald over Surf, because the burn could break Sturdy, is my thought. Not that I would... You know, if I crit right there and burned it, it would have broke Sturdy. Anyways. I say we just finish Magneton off with Earth Power. Yeah, and it's going for Tri Attack again. I really hate it because it could paralyze me. Burn wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, <sighs> that's actually game ending. That could kill Gushers. And Brooklyn both. There's no way to heal it. If I had thought about Tri Attack. Would have given her a Lumberry instead of the Citrus Berry she has. Eh, we can't give up hope. Next up's BEM. Things are looking grim, but... But maybe there's a route out. All right, Gushers, you need to get back. This BEM obviously has a Grass-type attack. There's no other reason he'd go into it right now. Well, I guess it's the only thing that's not weak to ground. But Brooklyn, I need your help here. Just in case this thing does have a grass of attack. And even if it doesn't, I mean, we're super effective against it with Brooklyn. This is my best play to make. All right, Brooklyn, signal beam. You've got to deal as much damage to this thing as you can. And obviously, we're going to be faster. BHM's quite slow. And it uses Calm Mind. Ooh. It might allow it to live another signal beam here. And if it heals, we could be in big trouble. Knock it out, Brooklyn! Alright, we did. Alright, my spirits have dropped greatly. 
because of that paralysis, but... Alright, Metang. Why? <laughs> I thought he always went into Metang, like, one of his last Pokemon. Maybe it has a rock type attack? I guess Metagross do get Rock Slide. This, that's a possibility. Um, I guess Gushers needs to be the next one to fight. So, the only highlight here for Gushers is we do have Recover. But we will be outsped by everything now, no matter what. And if we don't get Recover off, Gushers will just be stuck to die and Brooklyn will follow suit. And then I don't know what to do from there. I need to recover. And it's going for Zen Headbutt for flinches. Oh my god. Alright, there's our Citrus Berry. You need to hit through, Gushers. Alright, we did. We got to recover off. Okay, so this is going to put us back to full HP from this state. Allowing me to go for an Earth Power and hopefully steal this Metang's fate. Um, I just have to do it. There's not much I can do here. Um, Zen, Zen Headbutt's very scary because it can flinch me, and that with the Paralysis gives me less than a 50% chance to hit through every single turn. Um, in this situation, I'm going to go for Recover. I'm not going to risk being paralyzed at low HP. I need to be able to hit through with Recover. Yeah, alright, so that puts me back to square one here. Metang's not able to do too much to me. As long as I can shrug off the damage it does to me with Recover every other turn, we're in a fairly good spot, I would say. Uh, another strategy would be maybe to stall out the Zen Headbutt with Protect, but I need to strike this thing with an Earth Power as quickly as possible. I can't believe it got the Paralysis. Anything else would have been better. But we did one-shot the Metang, which is a great thing to see. And next up is going to be Magnezone. Okay, I guess this is the best time to see this. Ooh. This isn't good. There's many reasons. His other Pokemon is what? Clink Clang? Yeah, that's scary. I guess if anything, Brooklyn can fight Clink Clang. It might have an electric move, but it's not Stab. If I can get past this Magnezone, we might have a chance to get out of this fight. Okay, this is really good. I'm getting excited, and I sound very grim because it doesn't look good. But we were going to be slower than Magnezone anyways. We have to land this Recover. Maybe it'll go for Explosion. Or maybe... Just like my past, Colrus might go for Discharge. I know that sounds ridiculous, but he did almost three years ago against my Claydol. I've never needed a dumber Colrus than I do right now. I'm going to go for Recover to play it safe. Flash Cannon is the optimal play. <laughs> um, that would make sense on his end. Right. We resist it, though. But it lowers my special defense? Oh, dear. I'm gonna go for a cover. I was gonna protect, <laughs> but why would he explode? It makes no sense. It's not looking good. We gotta get a recover off here. We gotta recover off. <laughs> That's all we have to do. Recover heals a lot. And I can always switch to get rid of the special defense. That might not actually be a bad idea to do right here, right now. Because he'll probably... Yeah, it's probably a free switch because he'd likely use Discharge on Brooklyn... And, yeah, that's actually a really smart play from my end. Because Flash Cannon shouldn't do that much to Brooklyn. And we also get an attack drop, which doesn't do anything for Flash Cannon. But we could PP stall Flash Cannon! And then he'd have to use Discharge or Explosion! And the attack drop... Oh my god, big brain plays! Okay, this is good! He would have to use Explosion, and with the attack drop, we take that. And then Brooklyn can fight Clink Clang! It's a risky play, but it might be all I've got! Gushers, get back! Don't do a 2016 Colrus right now. Please don't use this charge. I'm begging you. All right. We sh should be fine with that. We resist that four times? Maybe just once. We don't resist it at all. <laughs> okay. I thought, yeah, flying doesn't resist steel. What are you thinking? It's fine, though. We don't have any... Yeah, we don't have recover on you. <laughs> you got nothing but Giga Drain. Ah. Uh, all right. Colrus, use Explosion, please. <laughs> or Discharge. Thunder Wave. All right, great. I'm already paralyzed, and you can't do that anyways. 
I have to recover! I know it's stupid, but I have to shrug off as many of these as I can! Yes! Recover, Gushers! There we go! Alright, I just... Uh, yeah, that Scald turn one was a bad play for me. Because him using his healing items on Magneton would have been better. Yeah, I wouldn't have been paralyzed. That was such a dumb play. You see, my logic there was... It had chance to be good. My logic was... Not being paralyzed, right? I would be able to get the... Use Earth Power Magneton turn one, right? And then, my worry is it would have used Explosion on one HP. But the AI would probably take priority with healing items. And by doing that, I'd be able to put him in an eternal state where he's always going to be healing and I wouldn't be hit by explosion. It wasn't my best move. I should have used Earth Power, but I guess there's just something about these fights that gets in my head. All right, I've got to lay down Earth Power. This is the most optimal time to do so. I'm at full HP. I've got a big brain play Bruin right now, and I'm so excited to do it. Nah, not the special defense drop. No, we're paralyzed! Gushers, you can't! I gotta go for recover when we're not full HP. I have to do it. If it just gets the jump on me one time, it's over. Recover, Gushers. Okay. I should've used PP ups on recover. I didn't think that this would happen. This is not going how I anticipated. We're only at five. We've got to hit an Earth Power. I know it has Sturdy, but it might give me a chance. I, it's all I need is a chance. Earth Power, Gushers! There we go! We're gonna knock it down to Sturdy! He'll only have one Pokemon left. And I could do some crazy good plays and shenanigans and switch back and forth on Kling Clang and cripple its attack stat. I know that sounds ridiculous because it might have Shift Gear, but... I'm gonna go for another Earth Power. Yeah, I thought you would heal. You gotta hit, Gushers! Or everything you've done up to this point is for not. No! <sighs> We've gotta be close to it being out of Flash Cannon. We've gotta be close. It has ten of them. I don't want to can my only chance here. I'm worried it's gonna go for explosion right here. No, it didn't. You gotta hit with recover, Gushers. Come on, buddy. Oh no. All right, we did get recover, but we got another special defense drop. Oh, I don't know how many flash cannons it's used. I wanna switch into Brooklyn, but it might be out and go for discharge here. I cannot. I have to use Recover again. <gasps> That's good! It's gonna kill itself! Gushers, you gotta take the shot! I know it's a weak physical Pokemon, but you gotta take it! We're not at full health! Yeah! Recover! No! We needed it so bad! And next up is his final Pokemon! It's Kling Clang! Get back, Gushers! I need your help right now, Brooklyn! I know this looks bad, but we might have a chance to do this! His final Pokemon in his ace is Kling Clang. It's a steel type and it floats in the air with the air balloon. We're gonna intimidate it. And if I do one thing right at here now, right here and now with you, Brooklyn, is you've got to break this thing's air balloon! But do I Scald or Signal Beam? It resists Signal Beam, but I could confuse it and that could be the tide we need to turn. But I could also burn it. And that would cripple its physical attack. Brooklyn, this might be your final turn in this fight or in this entire adventure, but I need you to Scald this Kling Clang. It does have an electric type attack and that's gonna be Brooklyn's life finally coming to an end. and Gushers probably follow suit. It was my only chance. I didn't know it had Thunderbolt. I, I should have known, but I couldn't risk switching back to Gushers right now and having it go for shift gear. It could set up in my face and end our journey now. I can only go for recover here while it sets up in my face.
while I watch everything we've worked for this entire adventure fall in front of my eyes. Recover, Gushers. <sighs> it's still using shift gear, which <laughs> we resist gear grind, but it has two chances to crit and plus three attack is not funny to look at. I should have switched into Gushers. I didn't. For some dumb reason. And we get a little dumb luck to finish the fight. It's my fault. And I hate it so bad because it shouldn't have happened. And all I can think about is all the comments when I lost against Getsis years ago. The big mistakes I made, they've haunted me this entire time, and I played worse than I ever have in my life back then. And I've played pristine gameplay this entire adventure here. I've avenged the mistakes that I've made. Only for one error, right before Getsis, to make it all for naught. I would have protected to feel it out for Thunderbolt, but I couldn't risk it setting up with shift gear. <sighs> Not every battle can go the way some of our favorites have. If I could say one thing about this adventure so far, I can say there's not been a Pokemon that surprised me like Brooklyn has in a very long time. Plus special defense too. He could have take he could have took it if that citrus berry had acted. Oh, it hurts so bad, man. Everything inside of me so badly wants to just shut the game off, slap a Lumberry on Gushers, and go for take two. I don't do that. I never will. My mistakes that I made here today are final, and they always will be. And there's nothing that's going to change that. Brooklyn has lost his life here today, and... The legacy of believing in Brooklyn is over. And it was such a dumb way to go, too. It was my fault. And it sucks because it makes me feel like this mountain of a series. The pristine gameplay up to this point. Zero errors made. I haven't made a single mistake this playthrough. And it makes me feel like all the great plays are all dead and mean nothing because of the one mistake that I made here today. I acted too quickly. If I would have switched, we could have had a way to save them both, but instead, I made a hasty decision and it cost Brooklyn his life and... I don't know if I'll be able to live it down for a long time here. We're not going to say goodbye to Getsis quite yet. I never did look at... Well, Brooklyn. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and take the Lepa Berry from Starla here. And she's a hasty nature. I don't know what preference that is right now. Um, It likes females. Wasn't that what elusive was? I think so. 
been a long time since Elusive. I can't find it. There, likes males, right? Sade was a male. Duh. No, Sade. Well, like, Elusive was like Tenny. Never mind. What? <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, you like males. Hmm. So, as much as it pains me, I'm not going to say goodbye to Brooklyn in this episode. We're gonna go ahead and wait until after Getsis has been defeated. Damn it! It pains me so bad I wanted these six to be there! <sighs> this is the revenge, Black 2 Wedlock, and... Colrus had a score to settle. Oh, I don't think anybody I pair with Gushers would be better than what I have prepared for Getsis. So, I don't really know where to go here. Obviously, bug flying is the best thing. Um, Gushers likes males, so it would need to be a male that likes females. So, one of these Pokemon, or one of these Pokemon. I mean, old dick's not bad. <sighs> I don't know. See, I don't. I wasn't thinking this was gonna happen today. I'm pissed. Got so many options is the thing. Like we can still look at Hellamoth, but is it? It might be too late. I mean, do you get Quiver Dance <laughs> at level fifty something? Doubtful, but I think I'll decide next time. <laughs> Decelerate. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna decide right now. It's too much for me to handle at this point. Yeah, Brooklyn's... What a legend. So many people looked down on him and he would be at the end of the game. It wasn't for me. I know, Kling Kling Man should have an electric type attack. I get it, alright? But like, what was I supposed to do? Switch into my paralyzed Gastrodon, have her not hit through and have it set up in my face and kill everybody? I should have protected, but again, it could use gear. Oh, shift gear. I wanted to pop the air balloon and then switch, but it wasn't meant to be. I'm happy with the decision I made. Wasn't the most optimal choice, but in the moment, I felt that it was what was right. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, regardless of what has happened here. It's been a long time since we've lost somebody, and I never thought it'd be Brooklyn, but that's just what happened here and it's over so, nothing i can do about it now with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed and in the next episode i'm gonna go ahead and pick a new partner for gushers might get to use my shiny which is interesting um i have a little bias there i'll be honest but i don't know that's another fire type weakness. So I, you know, I, I shouldn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I will still think about it. I know it's not in the same pair, but that's a lot of fire weakness. Even though Gushers beats fire really well, but you know, I'll think about it. Don't feel like you need. To, tell me who you would have picked, but it's too late because I got to record that right now. So you know, it's already been done. I'll pick a new partner for Gushers, train him up, and we're going to fight Getsus. Next episode is the episode. You will not want to miss it. So, With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. 
My like helps me feel better. <laughs> uh, it does. It does. I tell you what. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.